to begin, before I started this, I set up the symmetry assist just so it allows us to draw on both sides. Just filling in the shape. I'm turning off the symmetry assist just so the line isn't in the way. Just press the select tool and I'm going to move the pin down. So I'm going to create a new layer above it and then select clipping mask. Just choosing a soft brush for the shading, choosing a blue. Slightly increase the brush size and reduce the opacity. And then just gradually shade from the bottom to the top, going harder at the bottom, lighter at top. Create a new layer, again clipping mask. Select a darker blue just to add to the shading. So I'm just following the contour of the right hand side, getting lighter the more I go to the centre. Create another new layer, clipping mask again, as I want to draw within that shape. And I'm just going to add a bit of reflective light just on that right hand side of the pin. Pressing on gently first and then grab and then going a bit harder the closer I get to the edge, as you can see here. Again, new layer, clipping mask. I'm going to add a bit of a highlight to the left hand side now. So I've just chosen a soft brush, leaving a little edge on the corner, and I'm going to erase the side closest to the middle using a soft, using a soft brush again. Gradually rubbing it out. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. Oops. Again, but I'm going to do a new layer with a clipping mask, so if I do make an error, it doesn't affect the one above. So again, using the erase tool and a soft, soft airbrush, just going to erase the part closest to the centre to remove that hard line. So I just create a new layer clipping mask and chose a darker blue, changing my brush to a studio brush. I'm going to start adding some details to the pin. So keeping my finger, keeping the pen on the screen and tapping with one finger to snap it to a parallel. So what I'm doing now on that layer, I'm selecting drawing assist. So it uses the symmetry tool which we set up at the beginning to draw these triangles. I'm just drag in from the corner to the shape, making sure the shape is closed for the fill function to work. But on that layer, I'm going to clipping mask, I'm going to alpha lock it so I can start adding some shading within that shape that I created because it already is a clipping mask. So, as you realize here, I forgot to turn off the drawing assist, which is why it shaded both sides at the same time. So, I'm just turning that off and then I'm going to start with the highlights on the left hand side and then dark, darker colors on the right, as you'll see in a sec. Adding shading to these elements really helps with the overall look of the illustration as it keeps the light consistent. With this obviously I've got the light coming in from the left hand side. So again, just continue that reflective light on that I did on the pin, as you can see here. So I could have left it there, but I thought, hey, let's make it a bit more funny. So here comes the chicken element. So I'm going to be starting off with the beak first, so on a new layer, you can change my brush to a studio brush, all other size, and then pretty generic beak, nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to fill that in by dragging the colour from the corner to the shape, making sure it's closed. And then select, select the colour from around the illustration. You just keep your finger held on a part where you want to select the colour. So what I've done there, just select the colour from the pattern, a new layer, clipping mask it, and then with a soft brush, starting, the, starting at the bottom with the dark colour and then adding the reflection on the top side of the beak.
I'm going in with the studio brush now to add the line where the beak would break. Oops. I'm just filling that bottom section in. But it would be a lot darker as it is on the bottom. Oops. And to finish it off, I'm just going to add a reflective line, just like that. Okay, so thinking about the lighting again, because it is coming in from the left hand side, there'd be a shadow on the right hand side of the beak. So to do this, I'm going to use a soft brush, selecting colour from around the illustration that I've already used. I like to create the shadow first and then erase it according to the shape. So in this case, because of the triangular shape, it will taper towards the edge. And the further it does get away from the beak, the less the shadow will show. Hence why I just rubbed it out. So on new layer, I'm going to start creating the eyes. One blob there. Another blob there. Oops, a bit too low. So I'm going to duplicate that layer by sliding left, clicking duplicate, and then the bottom one, moving it down slightly, and then adding a Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity first, click the adjustments, the Gaussian blur, and then drag your stylus across the screen to alter the level of blurriness you want. So I'm going to move that a bit higher. There we go. Happy with that. So another new layer. Clipping mask and then soft brush for the shading. I'm going to select one of the lighter colours that I've used around the illustration. And then on the top left, start off with the lighter colour, and on the bottom right, there'd be a darker colour, giving the effect that they're slightly bulged. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Looks like a ball of chicken right now. Okay, so on a new layer, I'm going to draw the, the thing on top of the chicken. I'm not sure what it's called, but for this I'm going to be calling it the hair. So I'm going to do the hair of the chicken. So let's start off by drawing the bottom section. And with this, you can do as many spikes as you want. I thought three looked good. You can do an afro, you can do five or six spikes, you can do a smooth curve, whatever you feel really. But for this, I thought couple of spikes to match the pattern that I did on the inside of the pin. Oops. So I've just drawn the shape, making sure it's closed and dragged the colour from the corner to the shape. On a new layer above it, I'm going to clipping mask it. So again, just selecting a colour from around the illustration. So this would be the thickness of the hair, I guess. I'm just changing my brush to a soft brush so I can add the shade in. And then shading in the bottom part of the hair. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of the, ha the harsh line from the thickness that I created by selecting the colour closest to that and just lightly erasing that, that hard line. Now for the shadow of the hair. So I've created a layer within the pin and clipping mask it, just so it stays within the pin. And I'm just gonna draw a rough shape of what it would look like if it was to be reflected onto that surface. Making sure the shape is closed, filling it in. And then with a soft eraser, just gradually erasing slowly. Just allow for that fall off. Okay, now for the, the wing. So I'm selecting the colour around the illustration with the studio brush on a new layer. I'm just going to start drawing a simple wing. Making sure again the shape is closed. A 
So I'll create a new layer, clipping mask. So now it's time to add some shading to the wing. Making sure your brush is selected for the shading brush. And then starting off on the right hand side, I'm just going to start off with the shadows. Now for the reflective light, similar to what we did on the pin. And then on the left hand side, you can add a highlight, as this is where the light would be coming in from. Just like that. So to start this all off, I'm going to add a shadow underneath the wing. So making sure I'm on and within the clipping masks of the pin. So I'm going to drag that down, making sure I'm in the pin. Just, there we go. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to erase the top part of the wing, just so it blends into the pin. And four from the top, and then boom. So I hope you guys found that useful. If it was, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a future episode. Until next time, bye.